Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to review the Pimax hand tracking module that they sent me. Now this hand tracking module works with both the 8KX and the 5K Super, but Pimax told me that it works better with the 8KX. So in this video, I tried it out for you guys, tried different demos, and I'll let you guys know what I think. So let's get started. All right guys, so now I'm testing the hand tracking with the uh, Pimax Experience and immediately I did not have to change any settings. My hands appear as soon as I put them in, which is awesome. And uh, it tracks pretty well, actually. It feels just like realistic looking hands. You can do all kinds of motions, so. <laughs> Yep, it's perfect. And let's see the range. So let's move my hands out. Still tracks up to about here. Then it start, loses tracking about here. But that is a pretty wide range. And then up, loses a bit there. Let's go down. Down, if you go back far enough, it'll disappear and it takes a little second to come back but other than that it's pretty great um okay so apparently the hands were tracking but i had to en actually enable hand tracking mode in order to actually use it so now that i have it enabled we can try some stuff So we can scroll up. Now, you don't want to do this with two hands at the same time or else one hand might interfere with the other. But, uh, yeah, it works perfectly. Let's go Steam VR. Let's go back. So this does take a little bit of practice to get used to, and uh, it is a bit sensitive sometimes to the scrolling feature. So yeah, it works pretty well. I'm impressed. I'm doing a CAD Explorer. So I've got these hands and they track perfectly, although in this demo they feel quite small. Let's see. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is so weird. <laughs> oh, and I can rotate the cat. I must say the hand tracking works pretty well and super accurate. I would say just as good as the hand tracking of the Vario headset.
Okay, so I have to tell you guys that I was able to get the Cat Explorer demo working. I was able to get the Pimax uh, Experience Home menu working with the different selections, but for some reason, I could not get all the other Leap Motion demos working, and I could not get it working on big screen or gravity sketch. So I don't know what the issue is there. I hope that there is a workaround for that. So in the meantime, I would say that the hand tracking module works with some applications, but not all of them. Hopefully it'll work with VR chat, but I haven't tested it there yet. But uh, overall, in terms of the hand tracking itself, it is perfect. It tracks all my fingers precisely every millimeter. And the uh, FOV of the tracking is pretty good, actually. I can go quite wide without having any issues. So the tracking is on par with the Vario. Now we just need to figure out why it's having some issues in some applications. So um, that's it for my review. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for many more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.